Right now, police don't have any suspects in custody. Police do believe, however, there were two shooters. Both took off running after they fired their guns. Now, investigators have not put out any type of description of the suspects that they are looking for. Sixteen-year-old Tiana Bosley was a smart, witty, and confident young girl who was looking forward to her junior year of high school at Gwendolyn Brooks College Prep Academy, where she was a straight-A student. She loved swimming, playing volleyball, and singing at church. Most importantly, she was super excited about starting her first summer job. No one could have ever imagined the chain of events that would soon take place. Just before 10 p.m. on July 10th, Chicago police responded to the 7100 block of South Yates in Chicago's South Shore neighborhood for reports of two people being shot. Upon arrival, they would find an unresponsive teen girl and an adult female. According to Chicago police, a 16-year-old girl and 32-year-old woman were shot near 71st and South Yates. Around 10 o'clock last night, both the teenager as well as the 32-year-old were brought here to the hospital. We got word late this morning. The 16 year old died from her wounds. The 32 year old was also taken here, as I mentioned, to the University of Chicago Medical Center. The victim was identified as 16 year old Tiana Bosley, who was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center in critical condition, where she sadly succumbed to her injuries. Her 32 year old aunt was also taken to the hospital and is recovering after surgery. According to the investigation, Tiana and her aunt were making their way home from her first summer job at Jimmy John's. As they got off the bus, two people ambushed them from a nearby empty lot, just two blocks from her home. After shooting both Tiana and her aunt, the two suspects fled on foot. Roughly 24 hours after Tiana's senseless murder, another 16-year-old, Jamika Wright, was shot in the eye in the 5,000 block of West Washington Boulevard in Chicago's Austin neighborhood just after 8 p.m. She was standing in an alley with a group of individuals when she was involved in a verbal dispute with the male offender who produced a gun and shot her in the eye before fleeing the scene. A witness told officers that Jamika also had a gun. She was taken to Loretto Hospital, where she was sadly pronounced dead. No one has been arrested for her murder. Tiana's family, friends, and teachers were reeling over her death. They were left shocked and confused. Her mother described jumping out of bed and running to the scene upon hearing the news. When she finally arrived, she knew it was true. Although she chose not to speak on camera, she wanted the world to know and remember Tiana as the beautiful soul that she was. 16-year-old girl shot and killed in South Shore Monday night. Police are still looking for the two gunmen. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is at the University of Chicago Medical Center. And Sabrina, you spoke to that teenager's mother. We did. We caught up with her in the pouring rain just as she was headed to the medical examiner's office to see her 16 year old daughter. She didn't want to speak with us on camera, but she did tell us a little bit about her, calling her a beautiful soul. Monday night, two blocks away from their home, Tiana Bosley and her aunt were making their way home from work from Jimmy John's on Michigan Avenue downtown. It was Bosley's first summer job. She was 16 years old, heading into her junior year. Her mother told CBS2 that they'd just gotten off the bus when two people ambushed them from a nearby empty lot, shot both Bosley and her 32-year-old aunt, and fled. Both were taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center. Bosley didn't survive. Bosley's mother told us more about her daughter, said she was a straight A student at Gwendolyn Brooks College Prep Academy High School, left to sing gospel at her church. She swam, played volleyball and growing up would sew the clothes for her own Barbie dolls. When her mom heard what happened, she said she jumped out of bed and ran only to find this scene and her daughter gone. That mother's sister, the 32 year old woman who was also shot, is recovering here at the University of Chicago Medical Center after surgery. She is stable. As of right now, police have not made any arrests and a possible motive is still unclear. Tiana's family and friends are encouraging anyone with information to come forward. The case remains ongoing.